Emily McFarlane Sweeney and I attend Campion College in Jamaica. Throughout high school, I focus on the natural sciences. However, in my junior year, I decided to try economics and I fell in love with it. I love how studying it made me understand the issues in my community more and how they can be resolved. I even ended up placing sixth nationally in my Cape economics exam. So in college, I think I want to focus on economics. I'm a little bit undecided, but economics is more where I'm leaning towards. I started a program, a teaching program, in one of our inner city communities called Denham Town. The name of the program is Accelerators, where people from my high school, we go down over summer and we help the children basically learn their curriculum and help them to read and anywhere they're lacking, we try to help. That's why I want to study economics because after studying economics, I'll be able to come back to Jamaica and I could work in government to help improve Jamaica's well-being. When we first went to Denham Town, it was a new experience for both my teammates and I. At first, it was a little unnerving, but when we entered the school, the children just lightened the mood. They were playing and they all ran towards us, hugging us, and they were like, Hey, who are you? Who are you? Are you here to teach us? Then, the teachers were also just telling us how happy they are to have us, which was just really meaningful to all of us. It just motivated us to do our best. It's representing a word. What word do you think it's representing? No, so L, the one who is this? So put that together. Slate. Slate? Yeah, what is Okay, you get that? Today, I have to ask you to think, so I see how well you critically think. So one of my favorite extracurricular activities is visiting the Golden Age home every Thursday with my classmates. When we go down, we play games with the members there and we read to them, comb their hair, just anything which makes them feel at home. It taught us a lot because they, they have so many experiences, so many stories to tell that when you're down there, you kind of forget about everything and just seeing how happy they are, even though their families don't visit them that much or just they don't like their living conditions. Either way, it kind of just brings happiness to you. So I've been a member of Key Club since ninth grade. Key Club is something that I've always loved doing because you have a variety of services that you do. So there's visiting homes, there's cleaning up the beach, there's just almost anything that has to do with making the community better, whether it's through people or just through actually helping the environment. One of the activities that we did was the coastal cleanup where we went on the beach and we cleaned up all the scandal bags and the bottles and just any garbage that we could find. After doing the coastal cleanup, it made me notice how much we need to fix as a country as our beaches are being eroded. I'm happy that people are starting to notice the importance of conserving our environment and I hope to see more services similar to this one. When I cross came to Jamaica in 2017, I've never really been a sportsy person, but I was just curious to see how do you play it and it just tapped into my experimental side. So I started doing it and actually loved it. So we made it to the quarterfinals, it was a great experience and I'm happy that I got to do it. Things that I can bring to any institution are my passion to uplift my community and even just my diverse background.